I was just showing Bert our uh, recently acquired ER60 call it set, Narex brand. I had good results with any of the stuff from Narex. This is a surplus purchase. So I got it a little bit less. I don't know what one would cost new. I, but I thought, uh, I think it was a little under 500 bucks by the time I had it delivered, which I thought was good for this. I don't remember exactly what it was off eBay anyway. And part of what we were looking at here, we talked about sizes and how these will flex in a little bit. You can go in about a 32nd of an inch with these and still clamp your part down pretty reliably. Um, we, he mentioned uh, he was looking at this and he thought these slots were just made with a saw. And yes, they are. They're made with a milling saw cutter, a thin round cutter. And I was pointing out other ones to bird up here on the shelf. So we'll let you in on it too. Um, people that do a lot of stuff with horizontal mills have seen these many times. And uh, different uh, milling cutters, we don't use them every day. And the one that would have cut that would have been a little thinner than this and probably six, eight inches in diameter. This one is smooth sided or a straight cutting. They are staggered tooth is another, this one here is a staggered tooth, which staggered tooth is not always with a lead angle like this cutting in. A lot of times they'll be straight, but the edge of the tooth pokes out to one side and then the other side. That's what makes it staggered. And it gives more room for bigger chips to clear out. At the same time, that's a real problem on one like this. If we're cutting a thin one, we're going down through a slot by having that staggered. You have the possibility that one of those big chips that can get out easy if you're, go if you're going relatively deep with this for its size. So it also can get stuck in between the part and this easy. And with a thin cutter, will break the cutter, cause the cutter to cover break. So you're really better off on the thin ones with it smooth, straight. Um, you've got more, more strength. You've got more of a fit to your slot that you're cutting. So the chips stay away as you, uh, you flood these with oil when you use them too, normally. Just flood them if you can. If you can't, you put some oil on at least, but they're really good on the bigger machines that have a lubricating oil all the time to uh, pump into it. And they fit on an arbor, different size arbors. Um, most of these will be standard inch sizes that you'll find in the US. I don't know what you find over in Europe because you know my sales that I see are different than theirs. I know there are metric arbor sizes and uh, you see that in the U.S. once in a while too, and it's a problem generally here because you can't get the arbors that match. So even the even the ones that are made uh, from a metric country usually for the U.S. have an inch size arbor, and they're handy. They make uh, there's beveled ones too. There's ones with radius. Um, real common. I think it's in the back room. We got. A whole big set of them that are uh, gear teeth. There's some more radius ones up there at the top. We have a whole bunch of them that are uh, gear teeth. We got about one and a half, five gallon buckets, which is just still just a starter set. Um, but uh, it's nice to have ones for gear teeth too.